Ah, yes, the good old days of the big bands. Number three of 11 children, I grew up with a musical family in Los Angeles. My father, being a musical director, brought all the musicians in the house to rehearse, and I just fell in love with the music, and especially Frank Sinatra. Having the chance to sing in my dad's bands through the years, little did I know that this would lead to a path of an unthinkable dream later in life. We ain't got a barrel of money, maybe we're ragged and funny, but we're driving along, singing a song, side by side. Then, along with my sister, we became known as the Allen Family, a real family group that toured in the school bus. Sound familiar? We were eventually signed with Mike Kerr Productions in which the Osmonds wrote and played the song High Tide. We recorded it and made history by being the first Caucasian family group signed with Motown Records. We appeared in teen magazines, American Bandstand, Johnny Carson, Merv Griffin, and our home away from home was Knott's Berry Farm in the main theater for three years. After going our different ways, I became a sound engineer for L.A. bands such as Oingo Boingos, The Motels, Blondie, but my new path was television. Missed the Saturday jams, heard they crowded the floor, couldn't bear it without you, don't get around much anymore. My father and I started a cable TV show. Aired all over Southern California, I was able to have fun with all the characters and impersonations I loved doing, but nothing beats singing with a live band. Go, go, crying. During this time, I performed for all the stars of Hollywood, but knew there was one more destiny to fulfill. The reason why I moved to Las Vegas was because it was powerful in the tribute uh, impersonator business. They had all the shows here. In Los Angeles, they didn't. And this is what I wanted to do, so I had to move to Las Vegas in order to quickly get noticed and get, get out there doing Sinatra. Start spreading the news, I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it in old New York. For plane to be flown, and even when I'm old and gray, I'm going to feel the way I do today. He had it all down. Showgirls were awesome. Their costumes were beautiful. I was into it. I was doing the snapping. Everyone was doing the snap. It's such a great night. Such a great way to remember Frank. Gary Anthony as Frank Sinatra. Next week, it's a tribute to Fleetwood Mac. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York New York, New York No, New York, Bad Monkey New York, New York Delta Airlines flies to New York 32 times a day When's good for you? Gentlemen, it's now time for your halftime entertainment. Please direct your attention to center court as we welcome the greatest entertainer of the 20th century. Old Blue Eyes, the chairman of the board, Francis Albert Sinatra. I've got you under my skin. I have got you. Deep in the heart of me And each time I do Just the thought of you Makes me stop just before I begin But because I'm good to you Under my skin 
Here in Las Vegas, I opened to tell an agency major entertainment production since 2000 and had the greatest opportunity of producing shows and creating jobs for corporate and theaters for many talented artists, celebrity impersonators, musicians, DJs, showgirls, and had worked with dignitaries and leaders from all over the world bringing jobs and tourism to Nevada. One of the reasons why I ran for Lieutenant Governor. No one is representing the entertainment industry as we keep getting slammed as I kept trying to get the information out there. And it's Now back on stage, enjoying the dream.